I'm going to show you how to create a double drop down so end users can first select a channel and then a nut size. Okay, so here we're working with an electronics retailer, so an electronics brand. And so on the left hand side, we got all our layouts. And on the right hand side, we have different list variables for our network. So if you are not familiar with this, I strongly suggest you watch this video um, to find out how to create a drop down from a, a network with different sizes. Uh, so as you can see, we have one for uh, the GDN, we have one for Meta. We have one for print ads, uh, install signage, and uh, digital signage. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to um, select a network from the variables, from the list variables, and we're going to toggle to make it invisible. And that's actually going to be really important because we don't want them to show up right away in the end user workspace. So let's toggle it, make them all invisible. And so now what we're going to do is create a new variable. So that's going to be another list variable. We're going to rename it right away. Let's call it channel. And that's going to be our top drop down, basically where we'll be able to select different networks. So uh, yeah, let's select a single uh, select list and we're going to add different items. So we're going to add as many items as there are networks in this case or channels. Um, so we're just going to, that's a little trick I showed you earlier. So we're going to uh, just copy paste it. We want to make sure that it's spelled exactly the same way. So uh, yeah, GDN, Meta, Print Ads, uh, Install Signage, and Digital Signage. So now that we're done, just for clarity for end users, what we'll do is we'll put it at the very top because that's how it's going to show up in the end user workspace. So we want that uh, channel drop down to be all the way up top, and then end users will be able to select um, a network. So now we're going to exit the variables. So we're going to go uh, into action. So we're going to create a new action. Um, so in terms of the trigger, we're going to set our trigger as variable value changed. And then we're going to select a variable. So in this case, it's going to be channel. And now we're going to go to the action tabs. And we're going to call Genie to the rescue. All right, so uh, let's enter a prompt. We're going to go uh, very simple in this case. Uh, and we'll go with when a value is selected, uh, show the corresponding list variable. Then we just click generate and let the graphics genie do its magic. So as you can see, it's coding. So we're just going to wait a couple of seconds um, for the code to be generated. That's super important. Uh, once it's done, as you can see, everything's done now. And now we can just click create. So our action has been um, created. We're just going to rename it. Um, it's a good thing to do that. So let's we'll go with channel. And now, so um, something is optional, but it's a good idea to do it. We're going to uh, open our variables. We're going to go through them and we're going to select the default states. And in this case, we'll just select um, the very first uh, ad size in the list. All right, so let's go back to default. Um, don't forget to save if you haven't done so. And let's go to the end user workspace. So we're in the end user workspace now, as you can see, we have our two menus on the left hand side, our two drop down menus. So the first one is the channel and the second one is going to be the size whenever we select the channel. So in this case, we have the GDN selected and right below we have our sizes for the GDN. So if you click on it, um, then you'll be able to select different sizes. And if we go to another one, let's say, uh, let's pick Meta in this case, then we can open the second drop down menu and also access different sizes. All right. Well, hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Check out the links below to find out more about Chili Graphics. Follow us on socials and get certified. See you around.